Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, and today's video is going to be the second episode in my Little Emmys archive series, and if you don't know what that series is, I'm basically just going to be looking back and giving commentary on my old art so you can see my evolution as an artist. And in the last episode we left off in 2016 and 2017, and today is going to be a continuation of that because I have a lot of artwork from that period. And we are going to be starting off with this drawing, and this is actually a portrait of Irene from Red Velvet. This was a study of a teaser that I redrew from their summer 2017 comeback and I specifically remember I think it was the day that album came out. Instead of sleeping I just stayed up all night listening to the album and drawing this portrait. I remember working really hard on it and I really like the way it came out. As you can see I was getting better at shading and kind of everything in general. She looks more like a human being. This was the point in my art journey where I was trying to focus on getting a lot of the little details correct. So I tried to really focus, as you can see I put a lot of detail into her lips, her eyes. I tried to draw every single little hair in her eyebrow and her bangs. Even her earrings and accessories, I tried to get the lighting right and everything. I just wanted to look more photo accurate so I could really get down the way objects interacted with each other. And what's crazy is that at this point I was still using my finger so I think you can kind of tell especially in her hair but I basically would just use a round brush in low opacity and I would do the shading that way instead of using any sort of blending tool. And in this one specifically it doesn't look that bad but in other ones I know it looks kind of harsh and horrible. And I actually tried to draw a background for once even though it doesn't look that good but I also drew an alternate version which also doesn't really look that good. But overall I really like this. I think her face is really pretty. It doesn't really look look like Irene in the picture, but it's still a very pretty portrait. And moving on from that, here we have another K-pop teaser redraw, and this is supposed to be Jihyo from TWICE. This is from their Signal comeback, which was also in 2017. And as you can see, this is unfinished. I never finished this, I don't know why. I think I got overwhelmed because, as I said, I was trying to really focus on getting all the details right. So you can kind of see I tried to do like every single stroke in her hair. I was trying to get it more in like a painterly style, but I wanted it to be photorealistic, so I tried really hard on every single detail. But I think I got overwhelmed with that, and this was taking me forever to do, so I think I just dropped it. It's not that bad, but it doesn't really look like Jihyo, and also, in the teaser that I was redrawing, she's doing like a kissy face, but here it just looks like she smelled something bad, and she's doing like a cringing face. But if you remember from the last video, that portrait of Wendy that I drew really improved my confidence, and it was a big step and my ability as an artist so I guess from that point on I was kind of obsessed with redrawing k-pop teasers because I thought the same thing would happen and I was trying to recreate the feeling that first portrait gave me and I was improving a lot from what how I used to draw but I thought with every single photo that I redrew that I would make like a huge improvement which isn't really the case but I was slowly learning things but just get ready to see a lot of k-pop drawings in the year. Moving on to this drawing here is a drawing of Mystique from the X-Men if you know anything about me I really like superheroes specifically the X-Men I made a whole video on it one time but besides that this is a portrait that I drew of Mystique and instead of copying a photo this was straight from my brain and I tried to use everything I learned from copying photos and studying those portraits to draw my own I drew strokes in her hair and I shaded the lips realistically the way I did on all those other portraits I tried to take everything that I learned and see if I could apply them in my own drawing so I wouldn't have to look at a reference so often I still wasn't very good at drawing back backgrounds or poses so a lot of my artwork from this period is just static poses looking straight at the camera and I was taking elements slowly that I was learning and applying them into my own artwork so I was kind of making improvements. Next we have this little drawing of a vampire girl and if you couldn't tell by now I really like drawing vampires for some reason but this is just a simple portrait. I drew it in a way more simple style than I was drawing before as you saw and I think I just got tired of getting all the details right and doing every single little shading I just wanted to draw something more cartoony and flat so I did minimal shading on this her eyes are kind of in like a manga anime style and I think the face on this is really pretty I also really like her hair her little short haircut and as well as being my k-pop era this was also my portrait era so from this point on you're gonna see a lot of floating heads up next we have this drawing and this is just a line art drawing I believe what I referenced was a photo of a model on a runway I think I got it off Pinterest or something way back then 
but I basically just wanted to draw her face to see how good I could draw freehand now that I kind of had some of the basics down. Not really, but you know, my basics were better than the basics that I used to know. And so this is just a line art drawing that I did. I think I'm the one who added the chains with the locks around her neck though. I wanted to give it a little twist so I wasn't just straight up copying the picture. I don't remember who the model was or what the specific picture was, but I remember thinking she was really pretty so that's why I drew her. But yeah, nothing special, just a line art drawing. I do think the way I drew lines and my proportions got better, I got better at controlling my hand when it came to having my lines steady and I think I also got better at drawing hair a bit. I think it's quite simple but it's very pretty. I think I do remember later on I colored it and like I added some photoshop effects to it but I really ended up hating the way it turned out so I think I deleted it because I was looking for the file but I can't find it anywhere. But it's okay because I think I like this version better anyways. So up next now we have this picture and it's another portrait. Hopefully you can tell who it is but if you don't know who it's supposed to be it's supposed to be Lana Del Rey and I think I remember drawing this because I think the picture popped up on my Instagram feed and I liked the way in the original photo it's kind of like blown out so it's a very harsh white and her hair is like a very harsh black so I wanted to draw that I just found the picture very pretty but also as you can see I shaded it very subtly I think this was some of my very best shading up to this point but I was also trying to experiment with that like how subtle could I make the shading where you could still tell that something is shaded and overall, I think I accomplished that. I think it's a very pretty picture. And I really like how flat it looks. It kind of looks like an old Polaroid or something. Also, she looks kind of stylized, but at the same time, like, you can tell it's supposed to be a human. So that was a pretty big accomplishment for me. So up next, we have another floating head. And I believe this was a study I did. It's another K-pop picture. But I believe this is supposed to be Kim Do-young from Wikimiki. And if I'm remembering right, I don't really know why it's so specific in my brain, but I believe this is a photo shoot from Vogue magazine. And I really liked the way her makeup was in that picture. She had like some glossy eyeshadow and lip gloss on her lips, and I thought it was very pretty. So I just drew this picture because I wanted to, basically. And I really liked the way her eyes and her lips came out. I think those were some of my very best lips to date. Also, her eyes are just very pretty. I never finished it either. The reason it's in grayscale is because that photo shoot they did was also in grayscale. And that's pretty much all there is to this picture. Also, is it just me or does it kind of look more like Jihyo from Twice? I don't really think it looks like Doyon at all. So up next, now we have this. I didn't really know where to put these, so I kind of bunched them all together because they are all related to the same thing. And this is just a whole bunch of concept art that I made a very long time ago. I was developing a story about like some magical girls. So here are a bunch of characters from that. It never ended up being anything, but I'm kind of glad it didn't develop into anything because if you can't tell from this concept art, it wasn't very good. I wasn't very good at doing like comic style back then either but I really wanted to make like a web comic or something about them so those two photos in the middle I was kind of like roughly sketching out the cover of the comic but I have to say like the lighting isn't that bad I guess I was trying to focus on like some very dynamic lighting and I think it looks kind of neat and if you watch my redesigning old OC's video their updated designs make an appearance in that so if you want to see their new versions go check that video out and this video is getting kind of long so I guess we'll leave off with that for today but thank you guys so much for watching this series has been really fun for me to do it's unlocking a lot of memories and it's just fun to share some of the behind the scenes of my old artworks with you guys i have a lot more to go through like this is still 2016 and 17 and we're not even halfway done with that era so there'll be more to come for this series but as always thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye